What's up, YouTube? This is K-Pop Chaster, and I'm here with Naruto Review 603. And, um, more flashbacks as predicted from the previous chapter, and it was quite interesting, though. I mean, despite the flashbacks, these are pretty interesting chapters. This is the stuff we've been wanting to see. Um, why Obito actually bought into the Moon Eye plan. So, this explains a bit. This actually leads into that. So, first off, we have Obito just chilling there, asking how long he's been. Now, here, he goes to the next panel. We see a Zetsu and another being with a spiral mask. I'll call him the spiral guy for now because I, I'm not sure whether he's part of Zetsu or something. I'll just call him the spiral guy for now, alright? And so we have Zetsu and the spiral guy telling him there's no washroom here, blah blah blah. Um, talking about poo, which is kind of random, but okay. Um, and also, we also learned that thanks to the cells that uh, are embedded in Obito from the Zetsu body, he doesn't have to eat anymore to survive. And he that's the reason, that's how he's been surviving in the dungeon, because there is no restroom there, there is no food, restaurant, blah blah blah. No, he's been trapped in that dungeon for, like, ever since Midar found him. Midar's just chilling on the side, he's not really involved in this chapter at all. Probably sleeping or something. Anyhow, um, Obito's, I guess, thankful for that. Um, we also learned that he's been saying Rin and Kakashi in his dreams. The Zetsu and the Spiral guy always mention that, like, you've been saying Rin 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 and Idiot Kakashi in your dreams, and Obito's like, really? And so, we see that, we see that panel, we also, uh, we know Madara's weakened, and they also explain to Tobi Madara's plan again about the Moonlight plan, you know, create a Genjutsu world, and Tobi's like, okay, this is a bunch of BS, you know, whatever, I, that's really idiotic plan, right? That's what he thinks for now. Um, and they again they say he's weakened so he can't exactly fulfill that plan. <clears throat> After that, um, there's a bunch of uh, panels that are flashbacks of Obito, right? We know he wants to get out. Um, he attempts to get out, but he just breaks his arm, I believe. Um, again, the spiral guy tells him, you know, you can't break a uh, rock at this point. Or was that in the further? I don't know. But um, anyhow, we see, uh, wait no that was later. No, we see Obito trying to escape. Yeah, he's still weak and he can't really balance properly walk yet. And um, so the spiral guy tells him, you know, you know, you know, you're not strong enough yet. You can't do that. And so here comes a bunch of other flashbacks of like, you know, his memories as the shinobi of the leaf. And so we see his development. He he uh, his hair is getting longer. Um, Obito's also shown training a bit still. You know, not slacking. He's trying to he's trying to practice his movements in that body. You know, it's it's boring. I mean, come on, it's a dungeon. What else is there to do other than train, really? And talk to the, the Zetsu body and the Spiral guy. Really nothing. And so, um, we see that. His hair got longer. He kind of looks like a mini version of Madara with that hairstyle. But anyhow, um, so he's like that. He's like, it's almost time, you know. I can finally leave this place and go to Kashi Rin. Right? Like anyone, you know. He's, he's looking forward to getting out. Then, we see... You know, his motivation is Rin, we know that. His motivation is Rin. That's what's really moving him. I mean, it's to see Akashi, but it's mainly Rin. You know, he's always being obsessed with Rin. And so the Zetsu comes out, and he's like, bad news. This Rin and Kakashi you're talking about, they're in danger from ninjas from the mist, I believe. And so this is where it gets, it gets interesting. Toby goes straight for the rock, tries to break it. He fails and just breaks his arm. Right? And uh, the Spiral Guy just comes up and says, you're not ready. So, basically... Um, he's like, don't you want to save your friends, right? So the spiral guy kind of detaches from his body and goes onto Obito and kind of like a full body suit kind of thing. And he's got the spiral mask, you know? And so I was like, okay, that's neat. He's got like a full body thing, armor thing. And he's got the spiral mask, the one-eye spiral mask, right? And um, so I, that's interesting. But not only that, that's pretty much the end of the chapter. We see that, you know, he's going out to, he wants to see Kakashi and Rin to save him. And we're like, okay. But, here's the thing. We know he doesn't buy into Madara's plan now. But, for future prediction, I'm going to predict that he's going to witness Rin die. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I think is going to happen. We're going to see, I think what we're going to see in the next chapter, possibly, is Kakashi, uh, I guess, failing to save Rin, and Rin dies. I think what's going to happen is when Obito gets out of this dungeon place and back into the ninja world, he's going and uh, Zetsu brings him to Kakashi and Rin's area. We're going to see, I think, possibly, 
um, I don't know, Kakashi escaping, or Kakashi failing. I think we're going to see Rin die, like how she dies or something. And Tobi, Obito will witness that. I don't think he's... He might not interfere, maybe after the skirmish is over, but I think he's going to see Rin die. And then he's going to change his mind, go back, and be pissed at the world. I think that's what's going to happen, something, like, something along those lines. He's going to see Rin. Once he sees Rin die, you know, we know he, that's been his motivation. Once he sees Rin die, he is going to buy into Madara's plan, you know? Why not? Why, you know, sure, why not? I'll support you on this Genjutsu thing that you want. Because now that Rin's dead, I think he has a sense that he's lost his purpose to move on now. He's going to support the Genjutsu plan because he's going to realize how bad reality is in his, in his perspective, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's what's going to happen in the next chapter. We're going to see a bit more of Rin, how she dies. Because it's unknown how she died, but I think this the next chapter will probably might reveal how she died, right? I think that's what's gonna happen. And so, um, leave your guys' thoughts in the comments what you guys think is gonna happen as well, because I'm interested to see what you guys think. Um, leave that in the comment. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, leave your thoughts. I want, I want, I'll read them. I always read comments. It's fun, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, I'll read your guys' thoughts of, of the, your opinions on the next chapter, what you think is going to happen, is Rin going to, are they possibly going to show how Rin dies, do you think Obito might interfere, or something like that, or do you think he's just going to stay on the sidelines and see, just witness Rin's death, you know, what do you think is going to happen in the next chapter, right, so leave that, and I'll see you guys later.